Welcome back everybody. Uh, we are starting where we carried on. It's just about sunrise right now. We have 33 water, 35 food uh, on our status right now and we are completely, well we've got 8 ice left which is not really enough to make enough water to have any kind of a difference there. So I'm going to see what we can make. See, yep. Uh, not enough power. Oh, it's because our batteries are on recharge right now and it's sucking up all the power from the main system here so if I just put that on there you go. there's the battery turn recharge off just for a moment we might be able to make a little bit of ice a little bit of uh yeah we've literally got hardly enough so we might be able to get one more water sachet out of this thing. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to go hunting ice very soon. I'm going to stay here because I think if I'm sat down, I'm not going to use too much actual like, stamina. So therefore my food and my water is going to go down slower. We have half our battery. Uh, I'm a little concerned that if we wait too long, the batch charge, then we lose time to drink. If we die at the moment, we do have the respawn point right here. As long as it's got power, so I can't really... I mean, I, I could put this on recharge, which I am going to do for the moment. But it doesn't really leave enough charge for the survival kit. Possibly. So it's risky. So we're in a bit of a bind right now. Uh, we're waiting for the light anyway. So right now, sun's starting to come up. I'm hoping it gets light enough to start searching for ice before we get into a situation. We're down to 30 water now. So this is uh, very risky. Okay, so we have a little bit of water left in there. Now, this is literally all of the ice. We've got like 0 0.01 ice left now. So I'm gonna put out my inventory so we can drink it when it becomes desperate. Well, we just drank it, so we're already desperate. I have a little bit of gray water there. We could possibly recycle that. Uh, is that all of our gray water? Got a little bit more there. So yeah, our biggest priority right this minute is finding ice. That is dangerous. Okay, right, I'm gonna just check something cause let's see. Water. Is there a way to use to recycle grey water? No, that just turns right, yeah, that just literally turns ice into water, probably more efficiently. Um do we have resequencer, crop grower, water recycler? That might be yeah, that's... Yeah, so that would actually turn grey water into normal water. We should probably build one of those. Onto here. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to be able to access that. So I need a girder. Okay, so that's got access all the way around if I put that on there. Because the way that works is... Yeah. So if I turn it sideways, it's going to connect and I can pass through. Oh. Okay. 
I can still access that from there. Steel plates. Oh, I don't want to put it into production again. Basic assembler. Right, so we need that stuff there. Okay, let's put what we got in there. Let's go get some stone. If we can, like, prolong ourselves just a teeny bit longer while we wait for the sun to come up, then we might be all right. to a minimum because the longer we run the more likely we are to burn through our water supply come on where is it do we have access from the other side yes we do Refinery's on. There's probably not enough power with that thing charging. Uh, finery. Oh, is it burnt through it all already? Oh no, I didn't put anything in there, that's why. Oh no, I just basically put the whole thing to work again. Right, fair enough. Okay, so let's see. I just put stones in there, but it's not producing. Could it be that we're short on power? Finery's on. That's on. These batteries are still on recharge. I'm going to have to borrow some power from here. Excellent. Yeah, it's starting to work through this now. It's, there's not a lot to make, to use, but... Uh, I need more. Okay. So we're back where we were now when we were sat in the cockpit discussing what to do. It is getting lighter though. Right, let's check this. Do we have enough to make all this? No. Almost. One more. decision here. Who knows? One more motor bite. That should... Is that all of it? Yeah, okay. Now in here. Okay. That 
wasn't too bad. That's got us up to 68. Okay. That's all of the water we're going to get. We're going to turn these things off now because they're using power. Still have a little bit of grey wastewater. I'm keeping all of this with me because it's yeah, I mean, if we keep all of this stuff along with us, we might be able to use it later on. Because when we find ice, we're going to set up a new base there. We might do a little bit of back and forth here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to GPS this place. Um, oh, I have a GPS, I think. Base one. Okay, right. So we have a GPS. So we might come back and sort of disassemble this and bring it along with us. Shafts of sunlight are starting to appear. I think it's certainly light enough to start moving. How's our power? It is recharging. Um, okay. I don't think we can wait too long for this, but we are just going to get going. Right, now our ore detector... ...should be... is it on? Ore detector needs to be on. We're at 300 metres. There's no ice around here. So we're going to search the lowlands a little bit. Because we can fly easier down there. Up here we don't have a lot of actual control. So if my dampeners are on. My forward, like small thruster, is not enough to actually stop me from that height. We have to fly low, increase our chances of finding something. Get a little bit of height. Let's see if we can see any white patches. Could be ours. I don't see any. We literally landed in the most barren place. Even if we see a boulder, that would be something. Uh, research base. 
Oh, unknown signal. Possible. Okay, we have to be aware that there's a researcher base out there. It probably won't come to attack us, but if we get close to it, it will. So that would be a boulder then, it's not. No, there could be food or water on here, so... If there's water, we'll try and convert it to food. Well, unless there's food as well. that one. Um, where's the cargo container? Maybe there's no cargo on this one. to fall over. Wastewater, credits, better drill, and some seats, okay. Not particularly useful apart from the better drill. Right, let's continue the search. So we can't really go that way. That's too dangerous. But the more we travel, the more stuff is going to appear. And by stuff, I mean things we don't want to appear. we're far away from our base when it appears, we should be alright. Silicon iron? That's worth GPS in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. 
silicon cobalt. We know things are spawning then. Is like the jackpot round here. Still no ice though. More silicon. But I have some hope because things are spawning. iron. So I should probably... Yeah. I can find ice around here. That would be spot on perfect. deposit. Cobalt again. Where is the cobalt? Oh, I know this we know there's cobalt there. Right, okay. Hmm. Signal detected. Interesting. Right now, I can't really pay too much mind to that. Imagine trying to do this for a rover. Maybe cool at all, but 
it would be too slow. I have 19 food left. Cobalt, lots of silicon. I know for a fact that you can get ice on this planet. So I also know that it's rare as hell. Now, I think the plan is if I start dying. We have to land immediately. So that I can respawn safely. And still be able to reach my cockpit again. What's in this boulder? But it's not ice. This might just be a nothing boulder. Okay, we keep going. There's no shortage of ores, that's for certain. We should try and find one of those sort of oasisy type areas. Let's get a little height, survey the area a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. 
Catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me. Can't stay at height. <laughs> it's too risky. Right, I guess we keep looking. There's definitely going to be some ice around here somewhere. Just to remind, we are using the AQD uh, vanilla ore distribution mod. What it does, it takes away certain ores that you shouldn't find here, like silver gold, moves them up into other areas like the moons. But it doesn't mess around with your other spawns. So if I should have spawned somewhere, it will still spawn there. They'll just be possibly deeper and larger deposits and potentially the ones that would have been silver gold and so on could potentially be replaced with ice or st just stone i suppose um you generally they'll be replaced with something more normal right it seems like finding your regular kinds of ores is easy So I don't think we need to really be concerned about those anymore. So I'm going to stop marking them for now. We've got a few places where we know there are some. But finding ice in the desert is exceedingly difficult. Especially when we're kind of stuck to near ground level. We can go up a little bit, but like, as soon as we gain any altitude, we start losing it again. I think those mountain areas over there might be potentially promising. We've probably got a few minutes left to find it, and then we might end up having to land if we're going to die, sort of use our respawn. Fat chance of finding water in this bit. Last time I found ice on Pertam, it was kind of around the bottom of a hill bit, but that's not to say it's going to still be in the same sort of place. It was quite shallow though. Is that the one? Have we gone in a circle? We probably have. We haven't gone very far anyway, that's for sure. There's an unknown signal though, so we're going to go chase that down. Because there's a much higher likelihood of finding what we're looking for in there. Which could buy us more searching time.
is the button first. Button's on the bottom. We've still got 13 minutes to live today. Oh, great. Is that all it's got? Carpet helmet. Not very useful. Okay. Pointless. We were going in that direction, so we shall continue in that direction. Our enemy base is outside of range now. There will probably be more because they spawn every eight kilometers or so that we cover. I do have some wastewater on me from that last one, and it's not—it's not an insignificant amount. So we could get some water out of taking that back to our base at a real push. But as it stands right now, I might actually be better off just like allowing the respawn to occur. I don't know how much like debt you incur when you respawn or if you come back with 100%. I don't know how that works. So it is a risk. I've also turned off the respawn with tools option. There has to be a penalty for dying. And our penalty in this case will be no tools. But in the event I die while actually flying my survival kit like this, the penalty will basically be game over because it's a good chance that the survival kit will not survive to respawn me. Or if I do respawn, I'll be like continuously respawning and then falling back to the ground with no tools. is like barren around this area. There's like one little tree there. I think what we should be looking for is like where there's clusters of green. If this game is to make any sense at all. certain it does make any sense at all. Okay, now we're looking for... oh, not that. Okay, a research base just appeared over there. So we'll stay clear of that. We're looking for white speckles on the ground anywhere. Okay, so 
We are 14 k's away from most building materials. But most importantly, right now, we have ice. This would make a nice little base. How far away is this ice? 26 kilometers that way. 26 meters that way. Okay, I want to drill a hole for it, but I don't want to do it like in a disruptive spot. So I think we'll start it probably over the back of this area here. I've got to be careful that I can actually get out of this thing. Chuck ice in there. We're going to immediately start production. Twenty of those, and the last four, ten of those for now. We have the gravel in place. Got a bit more gravel here that I can move over. Oh, it's full anyway. I might need to just sort of shrink that down a little bit. Take about 300 out. And then we can move water up to there. Our carrot seeds can go there. Our grey water can go in here. Stone can go into the survival kit. I'm going to GPS this area as well, so... And I'm going to have to... make that really stand out. Okay. That's three kilometers away, that's a bit far. Right, so now we don't really want to fill up our inventory with stuff like ice because if I fill it straight up, we're going to hit the problem of not being able to fly because it's really difficult to fly on Pertown with atmospherics. Right, this takes forever to make. But we're keeping an eye on our... I'm looking down here so you can see in the top left corner. 10 and 15. So this is going to be, I think, where we start our main base. Um, where's our nearest 
Yeah, we have access to a lot of stuff over there. I mean, we can... It's cobalt, really, that's the main thing that we can't get from stone. But we could get a little bit of all of that stuff. We could build a little uh, pod, some sort of rover thing. Um, I'm not sure how drivable most of that is. I think this would be a decent place for a permanent base. It's not like right on top of a major ore deposit, but it does do the job. Oh, our battery is dangerously low. I think we need to turn off some stuff. Off. How's our battery? Stored power is really dangerously low. Turn that off. I think we need to put some sort of solar panel on this or something along those lines, like really urgently. Um, so are we able to make solar cells in here? Let's go G and put a solar panel on there. Here we are. Small grid. Even if it's one, that will be something. So, um, one component could not be put to production. be the bulletproof glass probably. Yeah, which isn't a hundred percent necessary. Right, let's take out what we can of this and see if we can actually build it. Where's the best place to put this? Uh, it's Totally temporary. Sun's up there. Let's try and get on top. solar cell here, so what do we need for that? Small so kit. Uh, still need nickel for that. Let's go find our hole. Do a spot more digging. Have our survival kit dying. In fact, our water thing has to be turned off. Um, it's off. It's everything. Oh, right. Battery still has a little bit of power still. So, emergency rations dispenser is off. Survival kit is on. Production, survival kit. Here's our survival kit. We have a bit of nickel there. Iron we're short of, nickel we're short of. Let's just clear out the gravel in here. Put it in the cockpit for now. 
Yeah, we don't have the iron that we need. Okay. We have stone now. Oh, no, we, we have to produce gravel to make stone. Of course. Up. Need to go up. Okay. Now we have a source of power. It's not a lot. That sun's moving its way over. Yeah, we've got like two bars technically that's something at least um okay battery let's just check the battery situation depleted in 13 hours so we're still using less. So we're still making less than we're using. And the weather's coming in. Right. Let's manage our water situation. So a rations dispenser is turned off right now. Probably need that turned on. Right, is there anything else I can turn off here? Um, Trusses are all off. Material lights off. Parachute hatch should be off. Don't even know why I have that still. Top mounted camera can be off for now. Gyroscope can be off. I have to remember to turn that back on. Hopefully, for 12 hours now, okay. <sighs> Not particularly helpful. Right, okay, we need to be making this stuff now, so um, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet. Rations on. Solar panel is outputting. Uh, not, not much. Could be down to the weather sandstorm isn't going to help much right let's see where we're at with the water situation i'm going to drink that right now we're still making more and then we need to make some food as soon as we have enough to do that. Just waiting for some water to appear on there. We'll go there. Still got five food to keep ourselves going. Um, battery is looking like gonna get about just under an hour out of it, but it's gonna go dark not long after that. So we've got about an hour of sun and we've got about an hour of battery. If we run out of power, we're done. Well, not necessarily. We could potentially still survive, but what's going to happen is the cockpit is going to 
Oof, this is not good. Yeah. If we run out of power and the survival kit turns off, we have to stay alive because if we die, it's game over. So we have to find some way to get power. But using our power to make stuff could prove to be dangerous. Um, okay, do we have any steel plates here? We do, okay. So let's take our steel plates. I want interior plates as well. Probably want construction components. Almost certainly want motors. You there for a minute. And you. Move out to the front for a minute. Okay, so... Mine is, we're going to have to try to build a turbine here. Wind seems to be plentiful. Closer to having any. Right. Okay, we are getting somewhere. have to drill some. Where's our hole? There it is. Thank you. 
48 minutes. I have 48 minutes to try and solve this issue. Okay. You need to try and get up there though. So best way up would be I need more steel plates. Oh actually no. Let's put some interior plates here because uh, I've got loads of those things. use these for sun again. Which ones of these do we not need? That one's not serving a purpose. That one's not serving a purpose. Okay. And let's put those in production and start drilling.
So we're just going to mine out some stone to hopefully get this uh, wind turbine up before it becomes too late. Part of the problem with this drilling hole is that under the sand, which sand is inefficient for drilling, but underneath it's all ice. Close enough. I don't know why I keep like crouching when I get to the. That's weird. Okay. Right. There's our battery situation. 18 minutes when we're producing stuff like this. And that's good. Uh, water wise, how are we doing? Let's, uh, yeah, okay, so, so we're still going to be producing water first. Um, for the minute I'm going to leave all this here uh, maybe not the top one because we don't really need the top one in fact actually that's where we'd spark off this to enhance this turbine so now what we need is a connector to connect this to and hopefully it's just enough power to actually get it to actually connect so um, let's say have I still got one on here? Yep. Good. Can I put it there? Too low. We're going to have to put it like there. Okay. Let's check on our battery. 17 minutes. I mean, luckily we are getting at least one bar off that. Okay, we have to drill them up. Now, 
I could have gone down the route of let's disassemble our pod and rebuild our base, but then we, we'd be losing cobalt and things that we have for thrusters. We, we, we could end up causing ourselves more of a problem. So for now, the pod is still a valuable thing. We have our source of water. We are going to build a base here. We'll have to travel a bit further afield for materials, but I'd rather that than have to sort of keep traveling for life-giving water. Just get filled with oh we got filled with ice. I'm actually gonna drop the ice. I have to drop higher. It's all the steel plate is going to be a problem. Um, we're not going to get a meaningful amount off that. Drilling away from where the ice is just so uh, we don't keep filling our inventory up with all of that. like our solar panels producing a bit more power which is nice. So with the sun moving around. Yeah. It's tricky this.
toes. So let's not do it that way. Let's just sit in here. Twenty-one minutes. Way there with the plates. Hit proper stone now. Inventory full. That should speed things up. It's a race against the clock because sundown's going to increase our battery uh, drain. Also producing this is going to produce, increase it. So yeah, we're just hoping that the battery lasts long enough to finish this connector and get us connected to it. Doing okay for food and water ish. Um, I th think maybe I can turn the rations dispenser off, save some power, move those things out of here. Is our survival kit? Production queue. Make it at the back there. Um, it's still iron that we keep coming short on. Just make sure we've not got any iron stashed around. It's not moving. No, not really anything significant. Yeah, it's full. Okay. Let's just keep drilling. Before we run out of juice. Silly. 
I think this is the closest we've actually come to actual peril. Because there is the danger that we run out of sunlight and solar panels stop working, the battery dies before we get this belt. And we hit, well, we can't connect to it then. So the survival kit turns off. I run out of power, die, no respawn. That's the risk. And yet, you can run out of power and die. I'm gonna open this actually. Save a bit of power maybe. But if we get like any kind of like a storm or anything on here or it gets too cold, then I'm quite likely to actually like need my suit and then start using more energy. Plus I've got the lights on. Oh, that's loud. Forgot how loud that goes. Full. This is why I keep my helmet shut. <laughs> I'm not using sneaky sounds because the assert has like audio audible notifications when the enemy sees you. And sneaky sounds makes them super quiet. Okay, we are getting very close here. I think if we do a couple more, one or two more drills, we should be there. And we've probably got about 15 minutes of power left. That goes up when we stop actually producing. So ideally I need to get this done in time to actually just get the last bit of sunlight into that battery so that we can definitely get our pod connected. It's a small steel tubes we definitely need. Production, let's have a look at it. We're not making small steel tubes. Well, we can't make small steel tubes. That is problematic. I'm sure we can get small steel tubes from somewhere within this thing. Might have to cannibalize the pod a little bit. Okay, so that's everything we need apart from 12 small steel tubes. Okay, where can we get them? be anything on here that actually uses small steel tubes. Six small steel tubes on that. Okay, maybe there's another way we can do this. Let's see what does a rotor need. Rotor part. Large steel tubes. Small tubes. We still need six small tubes for the road to part. That needs one small steel tube. We're going to have to make a... Uh, no, we are actually going to have to make an assembler. What's our battery like? Where's our battery? There it is. Two hours now. For a minute. <sighs> so, because I'm an idiot and I forgot that small steel tubes can't be made with that, we have a problem. 
Now, an assembly... A basic assembler... Requires what? Let's put it there. Um, still plates. Computers. It's not too bad a list, actually. Let's get rid of that. still got a couple of hours of time. Well, we've got less because we're not producing right now. Uh, if we get really desperate, we can move the survival kit. Inventory full. Which we may have to, well, ideally I would do that eventually anyway. But this pod still needs power. How far away is our base? 23 kilometers. I don't think we can cover 23 kilometers on virtually no battery. In fact, I'm almost certain we can't. We need the assembler here anyway. I think walking's out of the question. Let's make sure that we're not. Yeah, okay. What's in our inventory right now? Oh, we've got some waste water and stuff in it. And more stone still. So one thing I'd like to know is like, are any of you trying a similar sort of um, survival challenge? You know, let me know about it in the comments because I'm really keen to see how you're getting on. Um, oh, that was silly. Um, Yeah, I'd like to know if you've had similar you know, issues, uh, had to make any difficult decisions to survive. It's like this all, let's all share our stories in the comments and keep us a community. Sun's going down soon. We're going to have like no solar power very, very soon. Which means that battery's going to go out of blood. The thing about this game is like getting an initial foothold is incredibly difficult. Well, not difficult, but like incredibly long. Once you've got that foothold, you're generally going to be okay. Oops, wrong thing. Did not want to take any of that out of there. Huh, that's good. We don't need that. Motors, displays, and computers. That's not too bad. Do we have anything like that anywhere on here anyway? Nope.
Motors. I should put that there. Let's chuck that in there. Four more motors and a few components. That's the motors, computers. I don't know how many computers it needs. Hang on. Oh, 80. Wow. the battery going? Eight minutes. Oh my god. Can we get 80 computers out of this thing in eight minutes? finish this. Let's uh, clear that off. Take that. That is production. Bingo. Now we just need to get this thing connected while we've still got a minute or two of power. I've got to turn on some stuff, so... Camera on. Gyro on. G-connector. Is my connector? Yeah, connector's still on. Okay, so... Uh -huh. Let's not do that yet. Battery recharged in four hours now. Great. So we are now in a situation where we have enough power to survive. Um, so that's producing just enough power. I could do with building a larger one of these, so I think this bit here is not going to be like the final base area, just because... Why is that? Oh, it's four kilometers of it that way. It's just going to be enough to get that thing charged up. Um, we are going to need a bunch of other materials, so at some point this is going to have to be emptied out into here. So we can go and get some like cobalt and stuff. 
see if I can see what my solar panel's doing from here. Yeah, solar panel's completely like, nah. It's all flying right now. As expected. It won't kick in till the morning. I think we'll be at least half charged by then. So, yeah, let's kill that light. So I don't know why I know why I put it there. still technically our respawn pod so we, we want to kind of get out of this eventually um, and start really significantly thinking about just uh, getting a little base building a proper pod survival kit will have to go in the base and be well protected we could put it in a little underground cave or something maybe I think that's a bit cheaty though. Okay, let's um, get some ice drilled because that's the main thing we came here for. Oh, we'll start with that. Right, I can do all this from in here. So we've got plenty of ice now. So the main thing is our emergency dispenser can be on. Full with a lot of rubbish here. Production in the emergency dispenser needs to turn back to doing water. So we'll do like 20, 30 water. We'll just produce as much as we can. Move the emergency. We'll take them off for now. We can start getting through some of this ice. And we'll be alright. Survival kit might as well start processing through the stone. I think maybe we'll just leave that for a minute. Okay, so we've got some materials here that I want to move out. And put them into there. I'll have to do that by hand because it's not connected. We've got a bunch of gravel here. Some random stuff there. Hmm. I think we've got too much gravel right here. So I'm just going to take that out for a minute because we're just processing through the water. So I can move that into there. Yeah. And now I can use the small cargo container number two for the wastewatery stuff. So let's just put that in there. There it is. We'll use that for like food and stuff. Oh, that fills it all up. Okay. This doesn't seem to be connected to anything at all. Small cargo container has one of them things in it and it isn't actually connected. So which one's that? It's that one. This actual cargo container has no connection into the system for some reason. Or, oh, actually, no, it may just be that it can't because it's the way it's conveyed up. Let me see. Let's see if I can pull something like gravel through it. No. Okay, so this cargo container is not part of the main system. 
it's that straightforward. Put you in there. Chuck you in there. Just empty as much of this stuff out of here as I can. Um, yeah, we need to start organising things a little bit. Oh, that's all of that. Oh, we can actually put... I should check our drill there. And these components. It's okay, so all those weird components. I think I can move them out. So... Okay, can't pick, can't cut. Yeah, we can't pull anything through here. I might as well actually grind this down. So it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, this is the same. And so is this one. that one. That's the parachute hatch. Right, so this one I'm actually going to change for the cargo container. For some light. Uh -uh. Oh, the stupid thing's all reversed. That's the lie. Okay. So that keeps that connected by the other means and should be alright. Uh, actually, I believe that that may have just disconnected. Ah, no, that doesn't work. Whoa! about that if you double click on something it goes nuts yeah that's not gonna work because that disconnects this so here what we actually need is a conveyor junction that connected? Is that actually connected to everything? Well, let's see. Can I pull that into there? No. Oh, it's because it's full. I can pull it into there. Okay. That does work. So this is connected through, that's fine. Cockpit's full, but, you know. Um, so now I need to start thinking, can I put cargo on here? This is temporary. I mean, very soon we're gonna produce something else. Um, I can put that like that. There's a cargo. See, we are running out of cargo space, so I need to start putting more of these in. And at the moment, the only cargoes we can build are the little tiny ones. So we haven't got any space for anything else in. Okay. I need materials for that. Can I make these? few cargo containers that work. This is need a few extra steel plates. But I don't think they're important right now. Right. Uh, 
night. It's night time, it's going cold, but it's still warm actually. It is going dark though. Right, how close are to the nearest materials? 14, 14, 13, 15, 16. There's a 13 over there. That research base is over there. There is another one in that direction. It's just too far away to see. That was getting dangerous. We have to shelter. Okay, so I think this is a really good place to leave this particular episode. Um, so we found ice. We actually managed to, just by the skin of our teeth, actually get this thing connected and recharged again. And we managed to stop ourselves from dying of hunger and thirst. Only just. We now have a good place to think about starting our proper base because this is where ice is. It's not where the other materials are. So we're going to have to circle back and figure that one out. We've also started getting a cert basis showing up. So that's where we're leaving it this time and uh, we'll see you next week.